It's the Easy All Grain Series on Hypo Brew, and today we're going to be talking about this little piece of machinery that you could add to your brew house, save on efficiency, save on a little bit of money. It is the Grain Mill. Welcome to Hypo Brew. I'm Tom Brennan and the grain mill something that uh, will cost you about a hundred bucks or so something that is could be very interesting for you to have in your brew house for a couple of reasons first and foremost at least in my mind it's your ability to buy grain in bulk and when you buy grain in bulk you could pay 50 bucks for 55 pounds of two row so then that drops your price of two row from let's say a dollar fifty a pound to less than a dollar a pound so that adds up when you're buying grain in bulk the capital that you spend on the hundred dollar grain mill will save you time will save you money and you know the other thing that's important about when you're buying a grain mill you have the ability on your own to kind of fine tweak your brew house first let's talk about what grain is now grain essentially uh, is is the husk and then inside of the husk is the starch and the starch is what converts to sugar when you're putting it in your mash so what you want to do when you're crushing your grain is you want to crush the husk just enough to let that starch out but not so much that it becomes a powder you ever try to you know, put together a uh, paper mache when you were a kid put flour and water together what does it become it becomes a rock and that's something you don't want to do have in your mash ton otherwise you'll get a stuck mash that is definitely a no-no now when you buy crushed grain if you're already doing all grain recipes and if you do wind up buying your grain at the homebrew store and they crush it for you which is a fantastic service they have it set for everybody's purposes not for your particular brew house so they don't really know what your cooler and what your mash efficiency in your cooler is and all this other things that you've got involved in your local brew house in your brew house okay so what you're going to do is you can actually fine tweak your grain mill specifically so you get the most efficiency out of your equipment most grain mills come with two rollers and hopefully one of, one of them is adjustable now the reason why they're adjustable is so this way you can control how much crush happens in your grain mill now the reason why that is important is because you don't want to compress as you're pushing them through the rolls compress those grains to the point where it becomes powder because then all of a sudden you're going to get that paper mache putty stuff which is not going to be good in your uh, mash ton because that's what a stuck mash is so what you want to maybe ask yourself as well exactly where do I start how much space do I have in between those rollers which is good now what you can do you could look online you could find all those um, find out what's best for your system uh, you can wind up buying something like this which is a spacer middle spacer here it actually has the markings on how thick things are this costs about five bucks I got it at Sears now or what you, what you could do coincidentally enough I bought that in Sears and this is an old Macy's card I have and you can actually just stick this right in between your rollers and that is a pretty good starting point of how far away you want your rollers to be now a lot of good grain mills come with something like this uh, this is just an arm for you to stick on the grain mill and turn the grain mill that's all well and good but if you're gonna be crushing 15 pounds of grain or something like that something like this is much better it's just a cordless drill you probably have one in your house and it will stick right into the grain mill and you can actually use this as a way for you to crush your grain things can get a little lopsided when you're crushing your grain if you have something to hold the cordless drill under that's perfect but if you don't and that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna go with a non balanced approach to things take your bucket your empty bucket then put your grain mill on top of it then you want to fill about five to seven pounds depending on how big the hopper is uh, of grain into the hopper then you what you want to do is attach your cordless drill run the drill so this way all the grain falls out into your bucket then once that's empty you want to take the drill off and then put more grain in the hopper and repeat that step thanks for watching this video thanks for subscribing thanks for watching the other videos as well that are displayed here and on my youtube channel don't forget check out hypobrew.com you can follow me on twitter at hypobrew and i'm on tumblr as well as hypobrew guys thanks so much for joining me today and have a wonderful day and make sure to relax and have a homebrew